Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. In this video, I am going to talk about scholarships for veterinary and animal sciences graduate, especially those students who are doing bachelor's in doctor of veterinary medicine or bachelor's in animal husbandry, BS poultry science, or you can say BS animal sciences like that programs. So I'm going to show some practical options which you can um, on which by which you can get some scholarship information and potentially you can win a scholarship. So I will start from my own YouTube channel where I'm uploading videos for finding scholarships and research assistant opportunities with the help of LinkedIn. You can see my this video. Secondly, I have mentioned all the possible scholarships for your master's studies as well as PhD and how you can select the most appropriate scholarship for yourself. This video is upcoming soon. You will see it. I hope now we will going now we will go to the Facebook. This is the group which we are um, managing from a couple of years and this is only and one dedicated group for animal sciences scholarships. These include mostly veterinary and animal sciences, not agriculture scholarships, but sometimes, you know, some domains can get fit in both animal science and agriculture. So both uh, f uh, field persons can see this group in their routine to see some opportunities. So I want to show how this group works. Like people, just sometime post link links and you can open those links and you can get information about scholarships like these are some most famous and important scholarship which are featured like dad scholarship of germany is important then this turkey scholarship then this uk scholarship and this norway scholarship so these are featured here you can read them you can read about them anytime and uh, six minutes before I posted here in which scholarships for veterinary and animal sciences students in can in different countries, some European countries, some scholarships of Canada, some of Australia, some of UK. So you can see these scholarships and you can open link and you can read more. So you have to you you have to understand their requirements by your own everything you have to figure out is there any opportunity available in those scholarship so these are complicated to understand but necessary for understanding so here i have just mentioned some veterinary and animal sciences institutes of canada which have small grants medium and large grants so it's your luck which grant you can win from them for supporting your studies in canada again you have to you have to open their links and you have to check individually what what they are offering nowadays if the link is broken then you can go to their website and in that way you can you can learn better from them okay so another way is there are many people who are helping voluntarily to new students like this person he has just uh, uploaded a published scholarship which is uh, we can say what i say this is an existing research project of a supervisor or a professor who is hiring a student so he has all the planning he has school uh, he has grant for this scholarship and funding so he just need an msc student to join this project so in these are simple opportunities you can easily get them if you have a good resume, your transcripts, a good cover letter, your references, this is then you can apply. So you you should have three GPA. And secondly, it is obviously clear it is American University. You need IELTS. It is confirmed. If you don't need IELTS, then you need TOEFL or GRE. So don't ask is this um, is IELTS necessary for it? Don't ask. So is generally you you need it. Secondly, similar position, the person who has posted it just seen it on my website or on another platform and just taken the picture and link. This is a good way if we play, if we post picture as well as link so that we can read further about that scholarship. 
especially the source from where it is posted so that we can get uh, we can confirm is is this an authentic opportunity and so that's why this is a good post so you have to just check which what are their requirements and coming down below you can see so these all are the scholarships here i have uploaded my youtube video you can see and uh, but the most famous group is scholarship network group it has a lot of information uh, so you should keep visiting this group for many posts especially for sop cover letter they have for these documents they have a lot of guidance you can learn from there but for veterinary and animal sciences scholarship this group is specific you can just give one 10 minutes in a day and you will most probably you will find two to three scholarships so this is the opportunity secondly sometime we see the links of different um scholarships which are not official like this is an official link it italy it will leads to it it will lead you to the italy italian website of the university so you can easily identify the you can easily identify is this an authentic or just a scam so what happened many websites people just give the link of their own website to get more uh, to get more uh, population on their website more views so they get more um, they earn more with the help of ads so those are time taking and laborious so i always appreciate if someone upload the official link like if we go to on this link this link is an official link and it just it directly leads le lead us to the exact website where this this position is present so it is easy to identify what we need to apply that's it but wh what people do people take this link and post it their own website then we have to reach their website from there we have to uh, get this webs this actual website so be careful with such kind of posts so you, if you are a veteran animal science graduate you should check this group and what you should do you should check last one year posts okay after finding one year posts check their requirements what they require for example here they require just documents three references so three professors should be in touch with you who can put your references whenever it is required I will upload a separate video on on uh, um, references. What kind of references we need for our studies? I will load some or just a uh, PDF format, some or links to fill. So I am going to show you some things if I can find in some uh, in some opportunities. They have mentioned the requirements. If you fulfill those requirements before your graduation, then most probably in future, if anyone, if any similar post will come, you will just apply and you will get easily. So another platform is on LinkedIn, that is Animal Sciences. One of my senior and friend is running this platform. So you can also get some information from here. So like he has uploaded this, so you can, you should use linkedin secondly you can just write scholarships and you are if interested in canada just write canada then go to the posts and you can also check here like this is scholarshipdiary.com this is a website which is giving you this information so it will take a lot of time to figure out is this relevant to your veterinary and animal sciences or not. If you have time, you should you should check it once. If you don't have time, then then go toward towards an authentic scholarship. Like this is MS in fisheries. Just uh, put these words in your search bar and find and check about this opportunities this is authentic and quick way to and yeah 
demonstrated quantitative skills and experience with R or Python. So it means even you are a medical or veterinary animal science graduate, you need to learn R and Python. These will increase your these will increase your skill set and you will get more opportunities in future, especially R is good and easy than Python. But Python has more use, uses. Like here, it has mentioned a lot of names of scholarships, but again, these are very, very difficult to identify. First of all, identify is it specific to you, specific for you, then it's worth. Other than there are specific people who do a lot, a lot of posts and you can learn a lot from them. I whenever I open my um, whenever I open my LinkedIn, I saw specific posts from such people. They regularly keep posting some information about uh, scholarships. So those people are helpful. You can follow them and you can get information them from them. Yeah, like uh, this person also posts different opportunities. So this is like, I can't give you maximum example in this short time, but there are a lot of people like, I am doing hit and trial method. Let's see if I found any information. Well, let's see. Luckily, if I will find. And you should keep following those people which are of your field. So you should learn which school, which app courses they are doing. You should also do those courses to compete your uh, competitors for learning. I couldn't find any those that person, but there are persons you should search. You will find definitely. So I'm going to finish this video now. In this video, we have concluded that there are specific YouTube channels which on which people post material for veterinary animal sciences students like I am posting. And uh, you can find other persons as well. There are specific LinkedIn platforms and some general platforms. There are some specific Facebook accounts. So uh, Facebook profiles and groups. So you have to like you, you are in a, uh, we can say sea or river, you know how to swim. And just if you don't know how to swim, first learn swimming and then go and search anything which you want. Everything is present. Don't complain. The, and there is no scholarship for me. There is nothing for me. How I can do. There is everything you just have to you just have to go and find it. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.